What's up guys, my name is Ryan and welcome back to Command Point. In today's video we're going to be taking a look at the Orc Commandos uh, as previewed in the new Warhammer Community article. But before we get into that, I wanted to let you all know that... What is in my mouth? But before we get into that, I wanted to let you guys all know that uh, somebody has come into our Discord server and has let us know that they are going to be demoing the new edition of Kill Team at the Warhammer 40,000 US Open Orlando event, August 13th through the 15th, I think it is. So if you're in the Orlando area, you're able to get a ticket for that event, you want to go check out the new edition of Kill Team, uh, go and do that. Very exciting to hear. Guys, if you like what we're doing here on Command Point, make sure to hit that like button and make sure to subscribe to the channel. And without further ado, let's get into today's article. So the first thing they show us here is the new Commando Knob data sheet or data card, I guess we should be calling it. You can either take a Slugger or Big Choppa with them and you can see the stats for that weapon there. Oh, wow, Big Choppa weapon skill of two. That's, uh, that's really nice. A uh, power claw as well. Not really sure what the brutal special rule is, but he does have an ability called Get It Done. Uh, each time this operative is activated, you can select one friendly commando operative within six inches of invisible to it. Add one to the selected model's operative's action point limit. And this is what an orc leader should be, right? He's like actually, he's, it, it feels like he's leading from the front. He's, he is a melee beast, but he also gets to, you know, actually lead the kill team. So this next guy is cool, the Breacher. They don't really show his data card, but they do show his Breach ability. So each time this operative performs a normal move, dash, or charge action, it can move through parts of terrain features that are no more than an inch thick as if they were not there. So that's really cool. This guy's going to be taking that battering ram that you see there and just bashing through terrain. And now we've got here the Choppa Boy. I think that the Slasha Boy, that's what he's called. Yeah, the Slasha Boy. So um, he, they don't show his data card, but they show his special ability, Dad, all you got. Each time after this operative fights in combat, if it lost any wounds in that combat but was not incapacitated, it can roll a d6, and on a 4-up, the enemy operative that fought it in that combat suffers two mortal wounds. So in the second half of this article, they preview the Shooty Boys. First up, they show the Commando Daka Boy, and this is probably my favorite model that they've previewed, and that's because of his unique action called Daka Dash for one action point. Uh, he can perform a free shoot action and a free dash action with this operative in any order. So that's a incredible amount of flexibility. Um, it really reminds me of um, Ryan and Rouse's uh, shoot, scarp, and scamper ability, I think it's called. You know, the Blackstone Fortress uh, models that you could run in Asher Militarum. But this seems like it's more flexible. You get to perform a free dash and a free shoot action, uh, whereas those two, they would just be able to make a normal move action after shooting. Uh, his Daka shooting, it's five attacks, hitting on fours, Damage is 3 and 4, and special ability is, or special rule is, unload slugs. So each time this operative makes a shooting attack with this weapon, in the roll attack dice step of that shooting attack, if any, if the target is within 6 inches of it, you can re-roll any or all of your attack dice. Okay. Wow, actually. So that's really cool. So imagine this guy being able to, for one action point, perform Daka Dash. He runs up on a guy with his dash with his uh, dash action within uh, six inches of a target, and then just is able to absolutely obliterate him by re-rolling all of his attack dice. That's wild. Here they show the scoped big shooter for the uh, the sniper boy or the sniper boy. Wow. Okay. So uh, this is less of a sniper rifle as it is a uh, a machine gun with a long range scope, I guess. Um, it's got six attacks, hitting on threes, which is really nice for uh, for orc shooting. Um, damage two and two, but then it's got the uh, mortal wounds two rule. So whenever it crits, it's going to be inflicting uh, two mortal wounds in addition to the regular damage. Th this is a really good shoot -a boy <laughs> So at the end of this article, they've got a beautiful picture of these orc commandos, and they tell us that tomorrow they're going to be previewing the veteran guardsmen of Krieg. And then there's also a link to the, I guess they're calling it new? Yeah, they say it's new. The shiny new Citadel Color website where they've got a bunch of painting guides up already for the Commandos and the Death Corps of Krieg, so that's cool. I'm not sure, like, I'm subscribed to the YouTube channel. That's usually where I see the painting guides, but I haven't seen any for the, um, 
for like the death core of Kree uniform, so I am going to be checking these out. But yeah guys, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. Let me know what you guys think of the Orc Commandos that we saw previewed in the comments below. Are you looking forward to running these guys? Uh, they honestly look so fun and diverse in their skill sets that I like really want to play them. <laughs> Uh, I, I think Shane and I are going to have to fight over which one of us gets the Orc Commando kill team in the in the Octarius box if we're able to actually get our hands on one. Thank you all for watching. A uh, special shout out to the patrons over on Patreon for supporting us. Make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can catch us all again in the next one.